It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? It's live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. You, Rafael Varane plays with Presnel Kimpembe in central defence. Kingsley Coman starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. And so the battle commences. Olivier Giroud. Giroud. He must favour the cross. Griezmann. Brilliantly blocked. Molina. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles. Oh, sorry, Stuart. Look at this. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. 
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Number 10, Kylian Mbappé. Kylian Mbappé might be able to set up the chance. And possibilities here. Textbook defending inside the box. De Paul. Messi. Martinez. It might be on for them. Must be. Oh, he saved it well. Short corner it is. Oh, off the post, still alive. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And he has options available. But the danger averted for now. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively, given the circumstances. Paredes. Mbappe. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Martinez Messi might be able to get in behind the defence crossing opportunity Messi on to Paredes body on the line and he stopped them in their tracks and he'll take efforts like that all day long Olivier Giroud. Giroud. Griezmann. And reading it absolutely superbly. Martinez. Griezmann. And with that, the attack fizzles out Mbappe now Giroud might it be Olivier Giroud Lionel Messi Taken on his opponent here. Griezmann. Teammates available. Mbappe. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal! Let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0.
Well, the supporters think it's on. Not to be, and still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Giroud options in the middle Mbappe well closed down straight away Messi nicely timed tackle Paul Pogba Theo Hernandez now and just one minute of stoppage time say the officials he has teammates around him Di Maria can he get one back oh good work to deny the opportunity And the play stop. They will make the change now. Fired over by Messi. A goal! As they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Goal for... And so it is. The first half story has been written. And the con so the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway fine tackle there to prevent the chance into the advanced position Martinez, will they get themselves level here? You'll be hard-pressed to find a better save than that, Loris. <laughs> and taken short. Otamendi. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Coman. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Giroud. Now Griezmann. And the flag does go up offside. Paredes. Lo Celso. The ball with Martinez. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Hernandez. And a chance, Hernandez. A 
And a very good challenge. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder for him there, and he's in real discomfort. He's a tough boy, I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Now we're into the final half hour. Possession one. Rafael Varan. Pogba has it. Plenty of support here. Pogba. Di Maria. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. But they dealt with the threat first. given us away inexplicably well plenty of power there but in fairness should have made the keeper work both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time and as you can see from the stats their general play has been excellent they've dominated the play they've created chances but the finishing has been really poor and that has to change at some point Lionel Messi. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And off the touched onto the woodwork. It comes to absolutely nothing. Will he play it in? Oh, a vital interception. Hernandez the referee is given a corner now they're going to alter things here's the substitution trying to pick out a teammate on the corner far too close to the goalkeeper Rodrigo de Paul a quarter of an hour remaining here. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? Well, they are... Committed to making the substitution here. He'll take this on. Well, that is how to strike a free kick. And that's how to make a save. And time for the change now. And deciding to go short with this one. And the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. And he cuts inside. But they took care of the situation defensively. And teammates around him from a long way out. Good pressure high up the pitch. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position.
time is against them. They have work to do. The cross is on. And that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Kunde. And making the run to the inside. Just wanted to get it out of there. Mbappe. Hernandez. Can he finish them off? A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Goal so back underway at 3-1. Support available. Messi could reduce the deficit. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Teo Hernandez. Jules Kunde on the ball. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And now it's all over. France are world champions for the third time. And there's no doubt about it, Derek. They've been the best team in the tournament. France, the world champions. It takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back World Cups. But Stuart, that's what France have done. And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them. And so the match.